Welcome to day 49 of the Blessed Nation 50 Days of Prayer. We reach the seventh day of the seventh week of what has been the most incredible journey in prayer and what we believe is the beginning of something that is going to radically transform our nation and usher in the greatest revival South Africa has ever seen. We are therefore blessed to have one of the founding leaders of IFSA, Apostle Linda Gobodo, who is also founder of his church, Kingdom Ministries, and the Vuka Africa Foundation. She is her passion regarding the healing of our nation that still needs to occur, but reminds us of God's promises to bring about this healing. Welcome to day 49 of our prayers to bless South Africa. I'm Linda Koboto from Vuka Africa Foundation. So much has happened during this period of the 50 days of prayer. To mention just a few, it's time gathering that happened in Bloemfontein with Angla Angus when more than 1 million people, close to 2 million people gathered to pray and to repent for our nation. The rollout of the healing campaign by Voga Africa and partners on the 26th and 27th of April in Soweto and followed by um, the campaign going to the Eastern Cape, to East London, to Bisho and to Forte in Alice. Reverend Suzette Hatting, who came from Indonesia uh, to also bless South Africa with a meeting in East London, which meeting led to the release or the aligning of East London to her divine destiny as a city of healing. But on the other hand, so much wickedness has been revealed during this time. We all know the news we heard about things that are happening in the political mountain, and also the sad news of the kidnapping and the killing of our girls that just was all over the news during these 50 days. But do not despair, because what we see, saw, what we saw and what we experienced uh, was showing the emotional state of our people and our nation. But do not despair, because the Bible says uh, in Psalm 92, verse 6 to 7, I will paraphrase, when the wicked are revealed, it is so that it is destroyed forever. This wickedness we have seen shall be destroyed forever. And also, we must understand that this is confirming what has been said over and over again, that our nation is in desperate need of healing. Now, ask, let's ask ourselves a question. How can we heal our nation? In the book of Psalms 107, verse 20, the Bible says, He sent his word and he healed them, and he delivered them from their destruction. In the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 8 and 9, our Lord Jesus Christ instructed his disciples saying, when whatever city you enter, um, eat such as put before you, heal the sick there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Let us not break this momentum that has started. Instead, let us now focus on the healing of the nation. Let us go on and call the nation to 100 days of word treatment, where we will release a word of hope, healing, and restoration for the nation to take in so that healing may happen. Um, because without people being healed, we cannot build. A nation that is broken and wounded, like our nation, cannot build, and South Africa cannot move forward. Let us make healing our priority agenda from now, June, the month of June, to September. Let us pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for my nation. I pray, Father God Almighty, for healing. Let the river of life that flows from the throne room of God and of the Lamb begin to flow in our nation, flow down every street all over this nation, flow into homes, flow into businesses, flow into schools, flow in, on every mountain as we have been praying these 50 days. Let healing now flow. Heal our hearts, heal our soul, heal our minds, heal our spirit, oh God. We are in desperate need of healing. Heal South Africa and heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen. Daily Prayer Guide On this 49th day of 50 days to bless the nation, we want to once again ask God to cleanse our hearts and lips and to use us to bless South Africa. Let us join and pray together. Father God, please forgive me for hardening my heart towards other people. We have become insensitive to your voice and to the suffering of people. I ask that you will remove the darkness and bring light and life. Help me to love again and look at other people with compassion and mercy. Help me to guard my heart. Father God, please forgive me for every harsh word that I had spoken in anger, impatience, hatred or insensitivity. To family members, to people of other races, to leaders or to foreigners. Remove every curse from my lips and use me as an instrument of righteousness to bless South Africa. Help me to watch my words. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless South Africa. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Numbers 6 verse 24 to 26. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew 5, verse 2 to 12. Blessed are you, our God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, that we should be holy and without blame before you in love. Ephesians 1 verse 3 to 4. In Jesus' name, Amen.